howdy, it is I, Junk, back again after quite some time, which uh, I can, I'll talk about that delay <laughs> shortly. All is comparatively well, but let's get into building a Lancelot. Uh, there was a comment from Banan3467, sorry if I got that uh, pronunciation off, Banan, Banan, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Banan, I like bananas. Banan3467 said, can you try to make Carnage or Lancelot or Hover meta? I thought Hover would be hardest, so did that first. And we did Carnage, and I followed his advice to, to try Athos. And now Lancelot, because I know Lancelot is very capable of holding its own in the meta. Now they finally found it. <laughs> There's a lot of... Please, search function. Any day now would be great. Okay, so the mods are easy, because Lancelot is right at the line about 230,000 health, where I'd say, like 230,000 base, where I say, it's a tank, let's put two immune amps and one repair amp. The immune amps will make it faster and tougher and give it protection from effects after it takes enough damage. And repair will, apart from giving it a little repair when it takes enough damage, it will give it some defense points. So, good tankiness. Pascal drone, the dominant tank drone in the game. Now, what weapons... I thought we could go all electric melee because it's a brawler, you want to brawl. I don't have a second... Uh, Noir Fang Bao. Yeah, and the one I have right now is on the Raptor, and I don't want to take that off. So, heck, I put an Athos on it. Athos perfectly good, perfectly good on tanks. I ran an Athos on top of the Fenrir with Ultimate Flames uh, until I needed the second Athos for the Carnage. So, let's just do Athos on top, right? And then do the uh, Noir Lamings on the side. And I only have one Mark III, one free. Let's say, put it this way, if the second one does well, right, we'll upgrade it if it performs that well today. Now, what's going to be different in today's video versus other ones is that in the past, I would record the games. It was like I would record games like one at a time. And then if I had ones that were really good, I would save three and string them together and make a video. This is not that. This is just in real time. This is just 20 minutes of me putting together the, the, the Lancelot and let's roll. All right. First map is Abyss. Not exactly the map I would want to be on. Ideally, there is some space for brawling, but there's a lot of open space too, and there's a lot of space for people to fly up and see over or around cover. So, uh, the strategy in a situation like this, if you're going to drop a brawler, and I'm not saying don't on Abyss, it can work, but walk towards the cover and get it next to that wall as fast as you can, and then be selective about how you engage or when you retreat. In the perfect world, I would completely ignore this beacon, run past it, and go attack people against the wall on their side, don't get that option, because who should drop in but the enemy Shenlu? Enemy Shenlu here, ultimate glory on top, ultimate corona on one side, and a Sonic <laughs> on, on the other side. It's the budget version of the one in my hangar, and the one in my hangar is pretty scary, and this one is equally scary. Activates my immune amps, gets me down to like 114,000. Fortunately, immune and repair kick in, mothership kicks in, get some health back. I run under for cover right away, and you can see he... I'm pretty sure that's him because now the display is glitched out. Pretty sure he went up in a harpy and he's trying to shoot bendies at me in, under here. So, and I can't just sit here all game and wait for something to happen. So I decide I'm just going to try to run into a beacon where they might not expect me, but this guy has clearly just been waiting for me to run out. <laughs> he's just been like, and you know, good for him for, for having patience. Uh, those bullets, I think they're kinetic and they're going to go through shielding if I have any left, which I probably don't. And it is not long before I pay the price, but you know, I had to try something. Let's drop in the electric melee raptor, find another raptor on our beacon who quickly realizes something's wrong. He jumps and I jump. Now, I don't think that raptors operate, like, with a Lancelot, who is on the ground is, is the one who's gonna eat the frog splash. I feel like the raptors, both of you are gonna link your magnets to each other. Found an Ophion underneath here who, I don't know how that was gonna work, but it didn't. Walking out here onto their secondary, another Ophion, an angler goes into its phase. I jump up to start getting some magnets linked. A shell decides he doesn't want any of this smoke. Runs right past. Triple kill here on their secondary. Let's flip it. And now I can go for their home or I can go for the shell and I think, you know, protect what you've got before you get anything new. Shell looks like it got locked down. I jump and land on it. Sorry, I just stomped the present there for the rampage. Ah, be very careful in this situation, especially on Abyss or Castle, where you can be thrown out of the out of the arena. Ochokochi will push you so far, so far, 
and if you get locked down and pushed, you're just gonna sail into the sunset. Be a speck on a mountain. Instead, keep it on the ground, get your godlike. Back here on the secondary and good teamwork, somebody takes out what I think was an angler there. Here's another angler with Brazant class shotguns. And uh, just trying to dance with it, get the beyond godlike. I'm feeling froggy, so let's get like a frog and leap onto their home. Hmm. Okay, there's a harpy there, a radiation Fenrir, and a Lancelot with the Vi with the uh, Vajra and Mahavadra. And if you if you're in a situation like this where you're a small bot up against a Titan that has these Vajra and Mahavadra weapons, if you're fast-ish, just keep moving because you know serpentine, I guess, to a degree to the extent you can. Those things really don't hit well up close, like the. The degree of uh, precision has to be greater than what you can generally produce. So, like, he, he, is, he is hitting me at times and doing some damage, but I'm living longer than I, I would if I, if I were standing in a place where he could easily reach me. So, just trying to keep myself alive, gonna jump here for some healing. Second Lancelot, or a second Luchador drops in, sorry. There's an Angler, an Ultimate Invader drops in. I'm gonna completely ignore the Luchadors, because I'm gonna just say, if I keep moving, it'll probably be fine. I've got some help now from Akiri, I see. Angler goes down, there's the invader who, I think I get an assist, yeah. Goes up in the air, let's see. Yeah, I'll take it, man. In, in a situation like that, there's no kill steals, <laughs> that's just help. Ah, so I, I jump thinking I'm gonna avoid a splash. Instead, you can see he just pushes me. So I have to then immediately activate. Thank goodness I didn't get locked. So instead of sailing off the edge, I just sail over here to the edge, back towards their secondary. That Luchador, the one who left, decides he may have left too soon, comes back. Looking at the beacon bar, they've got a little, little bit less than a third, a little bit more than a quarter. We've got four-fifths of ours, so we're in good shape. I decide this is a great time to drop the Eiffel. And maybe it would have been in some situations, but you're going to see my least favorite ability in the game right now, until it gets nerfed, activates, and I get taunted. There's so many reasons why this doesn't make sense, but the th whether it makes sense or not, I don't like it, because I don't like any ability that stops you from playing the game. This is a game about robots shooting robots, and I've said this about other abilities, because it's true. If there's something that makes the game harder, like a robot that's very durable and you can still chip away at it, that's fine, the game is still intact, you're still playing the game. You know, maybe you have to tune differently, but you're playing the game. If there's something that actively stops you from playing the game, like shooting at robots, that's a bad ability. Like, you've actually made a bad ability. Since the developers don't actually play this game, if, I, don't think they, I don't think they watch it, let alone play it. They don't know what feels good or bad. That's why we had to, like, grab them by the ears and drag them away from putting an execute module in the game, which the entire community knew was a bad idea from day one, but they just thought it was a really good idea. Well, if you don't play the game, I bet it is. I bet it is, Pixonic. I bet it is. Anyway. Uh, I'm playing really loose right now. You could say sloppy. I'll take sloppy. Uh, because we've got such a beacon bar advantage and it looks like they're mecking. So this is not... Like, uh, there was strategy earlier. <laughs> this is not This is not that. I'm just kind of running around, hitting buttons. You know, there's... Don't overthink it in a situation like this, generally. I mean, everybody can always come back. But... Yeah, the time was getting, like, the sun was getting real low, big guy. I, uh, I don't I, I just couldn't be too concerned. And hopefully we'll have our display come back after this game. I believe it does. Let's see how we did. 13.4 million, 5 assists, 9 kills, and 5 caps. Good enough for first place, although we didn't get to have any Lancelot time, really. A little bit. Uh, solid. There's the bed where they taunted me there, solid, and then... Rook, yeah, was, I mean, the good hangers. Solid hangers. This was the guy who's number two on the friendly side. And we'll take a look at mine, you know, later, I'm sure. All right, before the next game, where have I been? I work, you know, my, the, the, the place where I make my money, my job, <laughs> is doing civil rights and free speech stuff with a particular focus on college campuses. And if you're in the U.S., you might have noticed college campuses have had some free speech issues lately. So I've been, uh, you know, busy essentially. On tour forever. Cool. Rome, well, I guess not cool. Rome is a bad, ma is a bad map for Lancelot. And, uh, I'll, I'll spoil this part. I don't drop it. 
I don't drop the Lancelot in this in this game. You know, it's Beacon Rush, so it's not impossible to get something useful out of it if the beacon's flipped and someone's challenging it, but you got a big open space. There's very little cover here. And even to get into that cover requires you to dash through the open to get to it. People have uh, longer range weapons than you. They're just going to eat eat your armor away, and that's it for you. So Lancelot, not a great matchup. Like, it, it's not... There, there's nothing hopeless, and if that's what you have, yeah, run it in this situation. I'm not saying I would give up. Um, I think you've seen many times where, like, the situation looked hopeless and I didn't give up. But... If you have another robot, this is the time for this is the time to try the other robots. That said, uh, I'm looking around and we've already got a four cap, and I'm starting to think, perhaps I don't need to be as strategic as uh, I would be on some other maps. That said, there's only one uh, um, beacon that isn't ours, so I'm going for it. Uh, but I will say that this game is not an example of strategy overall. This is much more... This is much more like... Taking it easy. Take a couple shots from cover, drop some tourists, you know, it's very casual. I don't know why. I don't know what happened, and like, when we look at the scoreboard, there's nothing obvious. That suggests why, why this game fell apart so quickly for the Reds. Now, the Ophion goes up, and I don't shoot at it. I guess I shoot a little bit there, but don't really get very many shots off. And that comes back in an interesting way later, because I think he comes up again and doesn't realize that I've got the unstable conduit module so I can shoot through shields. Yeah, like here, where I think he, his confidence was bolstered by my failure to shoot through a shield before. And, uh... It's a living legend, but I don't feel particularly great about it. This, I love, I love this moment where, like, the Fender and the Dagon come around the corner and the Dagon immediately phases. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's get him! And then as soon as, as soon as they come around the corner, he's like, oh, I don't know this guy, I was just, you know, I was just crossing the street. <laughs> yeah, this, this game fell apart for, for the Reds, which is tough, because sometimes I'm in those games and it's, I, I couldn't tell you what happened when I was on that side. Like, sometimes, you know, people don't drop in or whatever, but sometimes it's just, there's nothing. There's, there's, there's nothing. So, this is the problem when you play games like this and you record three games in real time. You can't control that they're all great. I mean, first place, but I don't know what it means exactly. Uh, Hail Trident, I'm, I'm familiar, I'm familiar with, great player. He got no support, I guess, in this because he was, he was putting up, he was putting up numbers that were good for the situation. Alright, one more game, let's get into it. And this one, finally, I promise you, I promise you, we'll see some Lancelot, finally. But hey, like, uh, when you make a melee brawl like that, not every map is- I mean, I didn't- I didn't play the Raptor in that match either. Because it wasn't a good matchup for that map either. It's not a question of like- It wasn't a question of the Lancelot being a tier 2 robot. It was a question of the Lancelot being a brawler, like the Raptor, and this being a, a map that will punish brawlers. If you've got people with- with, uh, Curies, you know, Subduer Curies on the other side, they will punish you. Alright, but here we have the best map for Brawler's Moon, not just because it's small, which it is, but because it's got a lot of uh, cover and a lot of angles, so that people flying up can't necessarily get over the walls to shoot at you. I just run right underneath because I want that smoke, man. I want someone to come, to come uh, contest this center for me. Getting a shot, and those are the kinetic weapons on that behemoth back there, the, uh, the bending shotguns. I just thought I'm going to run down the hawk for the first kill, and from there I'm going to parlay directly into the behemoth. Behemoth is trying to reposition. Clearly, very slowly, doesn't have the Andre pilot, I would guess. Uh, he cannot get away fast enough onto the Mars. And we're less than a minute in, and Lancelot is kind of putting together a mini spawn raid here. Taking some damage doing it. Was that the double kill? I guess I didn't get the hawk kill? Oh well, or maybe I didn't get, well, I didn't get one of the two kills. That's fine. I'll get some kills. Triple kill here on the Kepri. Getting shot at by a weather chicken. Looks like a harpy. Rampage from the harpy. And is that a siren? Going over the edge. Manages to get over the wall. But I'm not going to fly over. I'm just going to jump over for the godlike. Alright, we're down to 226,000 health. But we've got a godlike. 
And I don't want to go back to their home right now because right now the action is where that last beacon is being contested. Not, I guess the second last beacon is being contested. Yeah, this is what I thought. Somebody would come, would come towards center. It is a puncher lynx. Puncher... Good, uh, good in a lot of ways, but I think my I think my shield is down. Otherwise, energy weapon against the shield wouldn't have been ideal for him. But I think the shield is down as it is. Let's uh, let's get ourselves a living legend here. Kepri's backing up pretty quick. Kepri too. Good build takes me down to. Uh, I was down in the fifty thousand there for a minute. I lose a weapon, but I do get the living legend on him. Let's get get, get a little bit more out of this bot before we ditch it. There's the hawk. Living Legend on the Hawk. And, um, I mean, I'm playing aggressive, but, like, I'm playing aggressive in a Lancelot, so, like, how bad should I feel, really? Yeah, I ended up ditching here because I saw there was a guy coming towards this beacon, and I thought, you know, you want to get out your... Always try to get out your Titan for the honor points. I want to get my Titan anyway, let's just go. Let's just go do it here. I feel like Lancelot made its point with its uh, couple living legends there. A couple of three, I think. Maybe two living legends. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was two. One by Beacon Control. And let's take a look at that scoreboard. Only 3.3 million, one assist, nine kills, and one beacon. But it looked like uh, that was enough. Here's the top guy on the red side. Number two guy on the red side. Yeah, this guy, this is wild, this, this hanger. I was like, is this really? Okay, I mean, very impressive to get to get a decent Champion League score with that hanger. I am very impressed. Because Sharanga is tough to do, and, you know, that that's, that's a very impressive score. Here's the number two guy on the blue side, and now we can take a quick look at my hanger here. And we didn't see a lot of it. We only, you know, we didn't see the... the the Shenlu or the Fenrir at all. Uh, that was the pilot for our Lancelot. It's not, I think, shocking. And I think I will mark three to Lei Ming. It earned it. It was, a, it was a good boy. Good boy, Lei Ming. You did good. Thank you if you've made it to the end of this video. If you are a dog or cat at home, Man, I hope your parents have been back since the last time we talked. But you're a very good puppy or kitty, and I'm sure they'll be back with a treat for you very soon, and I will talk to you again very soon. Later.